This is so Stephen and me. We were in a workout class called Tone House. It was 5 a.m. It's basically a football workout. It is so intense. So only crazy people go to this workout class. <laughs> she was behind me in the class, and I had someone just touching my heels. I was like, who's this girl on my heels, like, chasing after me? I really was confused of why is this person doing that. And I didn't really notice it. Like, I was just working out. Maybe I was going a little bit too slow, or maybe she wanted to meet me. And then we were in a coffee shop one day. I saw her across the way at the coffee shop, and we kind of locked eyes. She smiled. She started blushing. When we locked eyes in that coffee shop, like, we knew, and I texted my friend immediately. And I was like, I am think I'm going to date Steve Flynn. I had always kind of thought that I would meet someone and I would know right away. And, you know, when I saw her that day and met her, I just had this feeling that it was something special. The world was melting down, and we had this ski trip planned. We got up, Stephen called my dad. I called him, was like, what do you think? Should we go on the trip? What do you think about COVID? Is it a risk? He was about ready to hang up the phone, and I said, like, oh, I got one other question for you, asking him for permission to propose to his daughter. And he was, he was kind of just like, oh, yeah, I, I expected that. I had this big plan. We were going to go to Telluride. We were going to go to the top of the mountain, have dinner, and I was going to propose on the top of the mountain. And then we got to Colorado, and then the <laughs> hour after we landed, they shut the whole mountain down. There was really just nowhere to go, but luckily they were still running the gondola. We got to the top of the mountain. It was perfect. There was nobody there. Walked over to a little area of the snow, and I proceeded to get down on my knee and ask her to marry me. It was just us, and it was really magical. This is a special night. So Stephen and Livia, they have found a formula and they have some magic in their relationship that makes it very special. And they're really in love with each other. There's few times in one's life where you like specifically remember the moment when you meet someone and one of those moments was when I met Olivia. I am so deeply thrilled for your union and your partnership. I love you guys. I'm so excited for Olivia to be my sister-in-law. So I was thinking about what's the best word to describe Olivia, and the, the word I kind of came up with was, was bold. I think she's like the Italian espresso roast of people. <laughs> Olivia, you know, it's been quite an adventure the past four years, and especially a roller coaster the past few months. But I think if there's one thing I've learned, you know, together as a team, there's nothing we can't do. So I love you, and I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. She found someone who, like a cancer baby, uh, balances her out with his Taurus energy. <laughs> and they make the most beautiful couple, and we are here to celebrate her. Congratulations! Cheers! I'm
Stephen and Olivia, you have come together so that in the presence of the church's minister in this community, I ask you to state your intentions. Olivia, I will never forget when we first locked eyes at a coffee shop in Midtown after we first met. I knew the moment I saw your wide smile, blushing red face, and bright yellow dress that you were going to be someone special. Stephen, my sweet. <laughs> When I think of the life and the memories we've created together, I sometimes can't decipher if it was real or it was a dream. The things that you have done for me, to help me, support me, surprise me, and most importantly, be sweet to me. <laughs> I love the life we have created together with Huckleberry. The, the adventures that we have gone on, and I can't wait to see what we can accomplish as a family. I promise to communicate, to be honest, to work through our differences, and to always support you. I can't promise every day will be perfect, but I can promise you that I will never give up on us. But above all, Olivia, I promise to love you from this day forward until death do us part. I used to think that meeting you and marrying you meant the end of my search for love. But today I know that meeting you on that summer day was just the end of the search of the person to love. And now the search for ways to love you has just begun. I vow to make the search for ways to love you every day my life's highest duty till death do us part. to formally welcome Stephen to our family. He has become like a son to us. I can't think of any more parent would want for their one and only daughter to have a son-in-law like you. I always knew Stephen wasn't going to settle for anything but the best. Someone who commanded his respect and shared his same values. I'll always remember the car ride home after Chris and I first went to dinner with the two of you. She asked me, so what do you think? I said, she's perfect. She's not gonna take any of his shit. <laughs> I know it's every girl's dream to marry their best friend, but Liv, I think this is taking it a little too far. <sighs> Olivia, I love you. Steven, I am you. You just wanna love you, baby. I'm giving your heart to me. Show me the way Olivia, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely, and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other?
for as long as you both shall live. I will. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ? I will. I will. And now pronounce your men and wife.